now I'll take you through the GitHub issue backup script which I have written and how to use it. First of all, download it as a zip file and store it wherever you want. So I've already downloaded the zip file and I've stored it here. E drive, e drive, so zem, ht docs, GitHub issue backup, and this is whatever was there in that file. Everything has been copied and uh, placed here. Then, what does this program do? This command fetches issues and comments from the GitHub repository and stores it in text file and for backup. It also displays HTML file looks similar to GitHub environment. Let us see the text file and the HTML file. So this is how the text file looks like. It has some important data like the title of the issue, the body of the issue, etc. So we have extracted this data and prepared one good user interface which is similar to the issues of GitHub display. So it shows the user who comment created the issue, when was it created and whatever has been placed there would be appropriately changed along with images etc. And this is the HTML file which you should expect. So these are the two outputs of the program. The requirements. The requirements are pretty simple. You have to have PHP installed. You can have Git Bash or you can use any other Linux platform also. And you have to have curl installed. So uh, Git has Git already has curl inbuilt, so we don't need the separate curl if we use Git. Uh, Then let us go step by step. First, step one, open your command line with curl installed. I already have my git bash, I've, I've opened it. It's already open side by side. So this is my git bash. Now I have to cd to I've already, I've already cd it. I've come to the directory where I've placed this github issue backup dot sh file. Now the third step is in the command line write github issue backup dot sh username. Let us to get the issues of this particular repository. The username is drdhabl2785 which is this name and then second is github underscore issue underscore backup that is the repo name. So I'll write username then github issue backup which is the repo name. So what I've written is this up to this level. If you want to fetch the whole issue, if you want to fetch the whole data, you can Papa. check how the number of the issue. Papa, See, number 5 is the latest uh, uh, issue. So if I want to fetch the whole data, I'll have to fetch till number 5. If it is 160 uh, issues you can write 160 so i have written github issue backup dot sh then you username or organization name as the case may be 
repo name and the issue number to which the data we want to fetch. Then step 4 is press enter and execute command. So I will be executing the command. It has started downloading, started execution at xyz number, created this, started issue number 1, completed 2, 3, 4. So this is your output file. So it has completed the execution. Now where should I look for the output? Step 5 the data x data would be placed in username repo name directory in the working directory i was working in e drive c drive xamp htdocs github issue backup so let me go to that place this is e drive c drive xamp htdocs github issue backup i have come here user search for username oblique repo name directory so here sir, our username was drdhabl2785 the repo name was github issue backup here we have those 5 text files the data of in text data and for html data it would be placed in username repo name html directly so username repo name html so these are 1 to 5 html files let us see how the files look like see the first text file is Issue number 1, title github like environment created by user xyz, body is from text files scraped via blah blah blah, so whatever is, whatever is the body of the issue. Now let us see the corresponding html file. See it's github like environment, it has been link to the github issue dr dhawal commented on blah 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 this is the body and this is the this is the title this is the author of the issue this is the time of creation of issue and this is the body of the issue similarly we can check second third So this is how it works. It's very easy. You are, all you have to do is go to the directory where you have stored this file and write down this data. That is it. Write down this command line. Thank you very much.